Danny Forts with the rejection free formula, no calling, no chasing, no convincing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you or share how to create customized um, Aweber forms. And th this is more like a, of a basic um, uh, tutorial and I'm definitely gonna do a few more tutorials that are a little bit more advanced. But when I first got started with Aweber, um, you know, I really didn't know much about even using anything on the internet. I was pretty much a, a complete utter newbie. Um, so my forms were just like the one, pretty stock, um, didn't offer any value type thing. And one of the things I learned over time was, and I'll share with you just in case you have that problem, is there's tons of YouTube videos that you can look for um, to how to customize uh, other a Aweber forms. And I'm gonna do, again, I'm gonna do some other tutorials myself. So. Uh, without any further ado, let's just get started. Um, this is my blog, and over here, I'm gonna just, you know, I got this empty space over here, and I just wanna, I don't, I, these all go to, you know, different squeeze pages, but I, I think I should have an opt in form just somewhere on the actual website. So, um, I've already started to, I've already created the actual list, and it, that's, that part is pretty self explanatory, and there's other tutorials on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit create sign up form. And we have all these different, um, this is the stock form that just comes up. Um, you know, and there's a bunch of different other options here. You can go to the show more. Um, let's say these are more popular for um, blogs and things like that. Um, so you see all the different forms that you actually have to choose from. The most popular forms are here, um, all of these different ones, but I'm just going to choose uh, basic one because it's transparent and you'll be able to do a lot of stuff with this in the future as um, I show you other tutorials. So I'm just going to hit load template. Oh, and actually, you know what? I should go back here and let me, you have these, this is the unstyled version, but when you see these different colors on some of the other templates. Um, you can choose the different um, color schemes to start off with. So that's one thing I should probably point out. Okay, so this is an unstyled, so I'm just going to load this template. And this is the template. It is pretty bare. It is pretty plain. Um, these are good just in case for, um, for one, transparent backgrounds. They're good to just, you know, slap in the middle of, you know, a, a post or a page. And But since this is going into a widget area that's on a WordPress blog, then um, I gotta be careful of the you know measurements and stuff like that. So right here is the width. My width is actually gonna be 340. I already measured it out. Whoops. I already measured mine out, so I know mine is 340. Okay. Um, you're gonna have some other ones um, that. Whoops. Mine's 340 is gonna be my, my width that I'm working with. I'm going to take out all this other stuff right here. These are the different um, things that we can literally just take out here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to take off this um, name and email. So what I'm going to do is the, go right over here to labels. And this is where your different labeling is, positions, as you can see. And that just moved there. So you can actually remove it or take it. Um, I'm just going to edit this now. Whoops, let's do this. Edit. I'm going to go over here to value and I'm going to put enter first name. Enter first name and then I'm going to take this part off. And I'm going to save that. Same thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here, is I'm gonna put enter, enter best email. I'm gonna, let's actually, let's do it this way. Sorry, enter best email. And we're gonna take this one off. So now this is a pretty streamlined um, form. I like to make the, the actual fields even look bigger. So what we're gonna do is uh, on inputs, these are the different fonts you can actually change it to. 
and these gives you all the different fonts here okay you can change that um, and these are the fields I'm talking about it shows you the different what the font size actually is so if we go with 18 I think that just looks much better it's almost like you can't miss it kind of thing um, so we can go down to 16 so that's that that part there um, next thing we want to do is just kind of create some sort of border um, as you can see um, I have like different things on here and so you know this is would be a border you don't have to have it on everything but um, I'm gonna put a border on this form so what we're gonna do is when you go to body over here see where it says style it says background there's no background color chosen yet um, and then this would be the style of the border it says none well I can make that a solid line okay or I can actually make it like a like almost like a coupon you know um, I can change the thickness uh, by doing that there but I'm just gonna leave this a solid color uh, just like that so the next thing we want to do is um, let's see for inputs I like to have have a different color so for inputs we're gonna change this to we're gonna go to input and then let's see we're gonna hit advanced okay then you bring up these boxes here so it says normal and selected so this is when you're just looking at it and it's and it's normal you can see that it's actually normal so um, I can make that solid like the solid line there we can change this color here let's say if I wanted to make it black and you saw how that just changed to black right there okay and then for the when it's selected I want to change the color I want it to be dotted and let's say I want it to be like red so I'm gonna go with C4 okay now notice how nothing changed yet okay and even for the background I'm going to change this over here to be like a different color yellow okay let's whoops let's get a brighter color yellow yeah that's cool so once I click on here see how this all changed to yellow and actually it should have removed text when clicked I didn't tick that option I should have so when I click it should still okay when I click here it's supposed to go away but I'll try to figure that out later so when you click on here see how like the dotted line you can see there so let's get rid of that so I'm gonna make that line just a little bit thicker let's go three pickles yeah I like that better okay so one of the things that we can do is for the button you can actually change the text on the button so if I go to submit button and I hit edit I can say um, sign up for instance okay that's one thing I can do uh, but one thing you may want to do is definitely change the actual button um, you know and so I'll have a link to a button that I'm going to use and I don't know where it is right now I thought I grabbed it but I guess not so in the meantime let me do something else let me add an image because I'm gonna put some arrows that point to the to the the box to actually sign up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an image and you'll see that this image just went down here but I'm gonna move this image up here and so if you don't know what your offer is gonna be yet um, you know you can just put sign up or what what have you but I already have this these three arrows already picked out and I'll leave a link below in the description of this video and that you can go use for yourself as well so I'm gonna grab this link I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna put this link right right there okay and see how this positioning it says left um, I want to put that in the center and then it goes in the center okay that's that so one of the things you can also do is put a, a you know some sort sort of headline or text and I'm just gonna click that there again this kinda of got put over here this is where the text is but I'm gonna slide this up and even though you can't see it here because I haven't typed anything I would say um, free let's go free tutorial shows how to customize 
a Weber forms a Weber forms even if you're a noob okay now I know you can hardly see this because it's all black over here okay but I'm gonna change this I'm gonna increase the font size here we're gonna turn this font size up okay we're gonna center it okay um, and I actually missed noob let's go where was I on 18 okay um, centered there and then a let's see what do we want to change this to oops let's get all of it first now it's it was fine okay try 24 okay so um, yeah and then you would obviously you'd want to get some sort of um, uh, button here I know I have buttons already on my blog so I might as well just try to find something that I can put in there for this tutorial so I thought I had grabbed one already but apparently oh okay I got this sign up one so let me just go back to photo bucket and just upload it if you don't have photo bucket photo buckets a image sharing site so I'm gonna upload a button that's already here that I did kinda grab it's the sign up red so I'm just gonna upload this button right here okay it's already uploaded to my bucket and I'm gonna put I'm just gonna label this whoops At Aetna, we wanna know what's your stop those whoops yeah they play ads kinda sneaky uh, let's just X that out okay let me get back over here Sign, sing, sign up, red, circle, okay, that's what I'm calling that one, uh, let's go back and, so then it gives me my link right here, the direct link, so I'm just going to copy that. Go back over here and then right where this um, edit one is, I'm just gonna, where it says text. Okay, so, whoops, find an image. Yeah, so right here. I go in here and I'm just gonna enter this link URL for the red button that I just uploaded up to Photo Bucket. And that should be that. And yes, here it is right here. So, now, one of the things I can do, I can create a graphic that goes here as well, um, you know, and I, I can actually do that in the next video, is I'm going to show you just how to put a customized graphic right in here as your header title. Um, next um, step, which is to actually put the form on your site, and then you want to grab this uh, code here. So what you do, whoops. So you select all that. I'm going to go to my widget area. I'm going to the skinny page, skinny sponsor. Leave it over here. Okay. So I just grab any kind of text widget. Put that there. I just paste my code right here. Save it. Okay. And if I go to the site, actually, wrong one. Here you can see the form. See there? Now you can see this got all a little jumbled up and I would go shrink the size and all that good stuff, but then I would just now have to go and adjust some stuff. All right, so this is the first uh, tutorial. And then in the second tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to put like a customized image here for your headline. So hope that helps. See you in the next video.